गुड ईवनिंग डिर् स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू तेनाली पाठशाल सो इन टूडे क्लास वी आर् गोइंग टू टाक अबउट वेरी इंपारटेंट क्वेश्चन विथ सोल्यूशन आन एस ब्लॉक एलमेंट्स सो आलरे हव मेड अ वीडियोज आन स्टाटी हौ टू गेट सेवेंटी अवट आफ सेवेंटी इन मैथ chemistry physics biology and 100 out of 100 in mathematics and also important questions on different chapters uh 9 chapters of chemistry already have uploaded if you have not seen that link is given in the description please go through that and then come to this one today we are going to talk about s yes, block elements guys give the chemical formula of washing soda you know washing soda so it is nothing but na2co3 10h2o soda ash Na2CO3 itself. Baking soda, you know, washing soda is different. Baking soda is different. Ba baking soda NaHCO3. Baking soda is also called sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate. Quick lime, you know, quick lime. Nothing but CaO, calcium oxide is called quick lime. Slaked lime, calcium hydroxide. Plaster of Paris means uh, you know already you studied in tenth standard also. Calcium sulphate half H two O. Remember calcium sulphate hemihydrate. Hemi means uh, you know half half H two O. Limestone calcium carbonate is known as CaCO three is known as limestone. So these are very important uh, chemical formulas. They may ask in annual examination, guys. Just practice these things. Coming to the next question, give a reason. Coordination number of beryllium is four, but that of magnesium is six. What is the reason? Reason is, see, in beryllium, absence of d orbitals in beryllium. There are no d orbitals in beryllium. Therefore, coordination number of beryllium is four and magnesium is six. Lithium plus ion has a maximum hydration energy. So what we are discussing all these are give reasons only. Lithium plus ions have maximum hydration energy because smaller size of lithium ion. The alkali metals and their salts impart characteristic color to the flame. Uh, this is because you know they when because the heat from the flame excites the outermost electron excites the outermost electron to the higher energy level when it comes back it emits radiation in the visible region therefore it give a characteristic color to the flame you know when the alkali metals are subjected to flame that flame heat will excites the outermost electrons of the uh, alkali metals to higher energy level when it coming back to ground state it will emit energy and that energy falls under some regions depending upon that you will get different colors alkali metals have low ionization enthalpy because of small size due to la sorry large atomic size sorry high uh, low ionization enthalpy due to large atomic size alkali metals are strong reducing agent because of low ionization enthalpy beryllium and magnesium do not impart color to the flame this is because electrons are strongly bound to the nucleus and flame energy is not enough to excite the electron so a electron is not going to excite the state means it will not come to ground state it is not coming to ground state mean during that energy is not liberated therefore you are not getting color following or not yes guys third question uh, sorry in second question only sodium metal is pr preserved in kerosene because you know sodium reacts vigorously with air and water therefore it is kept in kerosene alkali metals are soft due to presence of single electron in their valence cell the metallic bonding is weak hence alkali metals are soft the metallic bonding is weak due to presence of single electron in their valence cell name the alkali metal which is strongest reducing agent alkali metal strongest reducing agent is lithium which has a highest hydration enthalpy again lithium which has a largest size francium which is radioactive francium which is least powerful reducing agent sodium i am all these are talking about the alkali metals only guys remember this point yes this is also very important question name the product formed when a potassium reacts with oxygen superoxide is formed ko2 you know uh, further we'll talk about the reaction also in the same video superoxide means uh, ko2 potassium superoxide is formed what is slaking of lime 
the addition of limited amount of water breaks the lumps of lime and this process is called as slaking of lime the addition of limited amount of water breaks the lumps of lime and this process is called slaking of lime two more questions what happens when lithium metal is heated in air right equation you know lithium metal li when heated in air what happens li2o monoxide lithium monoxide is formed burns vigorously to form monoxide what happens when sodium metal is heated in air already you studied again it vigorous very vigorously uh, again it burns very vigorously with air and gives sodium peroxide already we studied Na2O2 in 10th standard also we studied the same equation what happens when potassium metal is heated in air write the equation just now we studied superoxide is formed KO2 see there carefully observe guys lithium will give lithium monoxide Li2O sodium will give Na2O2 sodium peroxide and potassium will give KO2 potassium superoxide very important guys LiO2 Na2O2 KO2 all are different only they behave differently with air very important question guys so anyone they may ask what is diagonal relationship give an example for diagonal relate, uh, related pair Similarity in the property of one element with that of other element placed diagonally opposite to the, it in the periodic table is called a diagonal relationship. So that means uh, both uh, metal both elements will behave like same same physical chemical properties, but they have placed in diagonally in the periodic table. Such a uh, pair is called a diagonal relationship pair, and lithium and magnesium are better example for the. If you see the periodic table, lithium and magnesium are kept diagonally. How does sodium react with water? Right equation. Again, same reaction. Sodium reacts with water to give NaOH and H2. Liberation of hydrogen. When sodium reacts with water, it forms hydroxide, liberating hydrogen. Give reason for anomalous behavior of lithium and beryllium. Small size, high ionization enthalpy, absence of dear metals. So these are the main three reasons. Uh, anomalous behavior of lithium or beryllium. Reasons for anomalous behavior of lithium and barium. What is action of heat on washing soda? On heating it loses water of hydration to form monohydrate. Above 373 Kelvin it changes to white powder called soda ash. See guys, when you take washing soda and heat it, you will get sodium hydrate and water molecule is eliminated from it. And when you heat above 373 Kelvin, it becomes a sodium carbonate that is called a soda ash. Na2CO3 is there no? That is called a soda ash above 373 Kelvin temperature. Compare the hydration enthalpies and second ionization enthalpies of alkaline and alkaline earth metals. Alkali metals have higher second ionization enthalpy compared to alkaline earth metals. Alkaline earth metals have higher hydration enthalpy compared to alkali metals. Remember, uh, alkali metals have higher second ionization enthalpy compared to alkaline earth metals. And alkaline earth metals have higher hydration enthalpy compared to alkali metals. Remember the statement guys. Alkali metals are higher in ionization enthalpy. Alkaline earth metals are higher in hydration enthalpy. Why do group 1 metals have low first ionization enthalpy then corresponding group 2 metals group 1 metals have larger size and by losing an electron they attain stable octate structure give equation for reaction that occurs when sodium metal is dropped into the water magnesium metal is heated in air see when sodium metal dropped into the water it will give sodium hydroxide with liberation of h2 already studied magnesium metal is heated in air then magnesium oxide white color magnesium oxide powder is formed and if magnesium is reacting with the n2 also which is present in air it will form some magnesium nitride how sodium hydrogen carbonate Sodium hydrogen carbonate means sodium bicarbonate is prepared from sodium carbonate they are asking. See, by saturating solution of sodium carbonate with carbon dioxide. See, Na2CO3 with plus H2 plus CO2. When you add water and CO2, Na2CO3 can be converted into NaHCO3. Sodium carbonate can be converted into sodium bicarbonate. Mention the biological importance of sodium and potassium. 
sodium plus and potassium plus ions participate in the transmission of nerve signals and regulate the flow of water across the cell membrane. It is very important biological application guys. The transmission of nerve signals and regulate the flow of water across the cell membrane. This is the main biological activity of sodium and potassium. Sodium ion transport sugars and amino acid into cells. Sodium plus ion can transport sugars and amino acids into the cell and potassium can transport uh, sorry potassium ions participate in the oxidation of glucose to produce ATP. Write the chemical equation reaction occurring at the cathode and anode during the manufacture of sodium hydroxide by kastner kalner cell process. At cathode, you know, always cathode reduction, anode oxidation, uh, addition of electron is called reduction, removal of electron is called oxidation, already studied. So at cathode, sodium will sodium ion will take electron in presence of mercury as a catalyst to give sodium amalgam. Amalgam is due to the Hg, mercury guys. At anode, electrons are removed to, sorry, it is not Ce minus, it is Cl minus, make it correction guys, sorry for that. So some typing mistake is there 2 Cl minus give rise to Cl2 with elimination of 2 electron elimination of electron or removal of electron is called oxidation at anode oxidation happens and at cathode reduction is going to take place what is lime water what is milk of lime see the aqueous solution of slaked lime is known as lime water and its suspension in water is known as milk of lime. See, aqueous solution of slaked lime is known as lime water. And its suspension in water is known as milk of lime. What happens when limited amount of CO2 gas is passed into the lime water give equation? On passing CO2 into lime water, it turns milky color due to formation of insoluble calcium carbonate, CaCO3. So, already you did this in the lab also, guys. So, when calcium hydroxide lime water is there, no? To that, if you pass the CO2 gas, it converts to calcium carbonate, which is insoluble. It becomes white color, PPPT. Precipitation of calcium carbonate dissolved by passing CO2. Why write equation? Because calcium carbonate again subjected for CO2 means it will form calcium hydrogen carbonate, which is soluble in water, guys. What happens when Cl2 is passed through milk of lime? So when calcium hydroxide, uh, sorry, Cl2 is passed in milk of lime, nothing but calcium hydroxide, bleaching powder, CaOCl2, so in English it is called bleaching powder, CaOCl2 is formed. How CaCO3 is prepared from the slaked lime? Calcium hydroxide react with CO. To, sorry, CO2 it is, again typing mistake, CO2 to form calcium carbonate, CaOH twice plus CO2 give rise to CaCO3 plus H2O, calcium carbonate is formed. How is quick lime prepared give equation? Quick lime means calcium oxide, calcium carbonate, heating of calcium carbonate at 1070 to 1270 Kelvin. It will produce CaO, slaked lime, sorry, quick lime with elimination of CO2. Quick lime means CaO. Okay, remember the point. Quick lime, CaO. Slaked lime, CaOH twice. What is a plaster of Paris? How it is obtained, guys? So, again, you have studied in 10th standard calcium sulfate hemihydrate or CaSO4 half H2 is known as plaster of Paris. It is obtained by heating gypsum. Calcium sulfate 2H2 is called a gyp gypsum. When you heat it, you will get calcium sulfate half hydrate. Given any two uses of plaster of Paris, it is used in the immo. Im mobilizing the affected part of organ when we are there is a bone fracture of sprain it is used in the dentistry for making casts of statues and busts what happens when quick lime is heated with silica sodium burns vigorously in oxygen quick lime Already studied calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is nothing but quick lime. Remember guys, so many times the question is repeated. Quick lime means calcium oxide. Slaked lime means calcium hydroxide. Both are different. Quick lime means calcium oxide heated with silica, SiO2. It will give calcium silicate, CaSiO3. Sodium burns vigorously in oxygen to give sodium peroxide. Already you know. Na plus O2 give rise to Na2O2. 
complete the reaction CaCO3 1200 degrees Celsius uh, sorry 1200 Kelvin temperature and slaked lime CaOH twice plus CO2 calcium carbonate will give calcium oxide slaked lime will uh, slaked lime CaOH twice slaked lime when you treat with CO2 it will give calcium carbonate and H2O very important reactions guys when you heat calcium carbonate you will get calcium oxide plus CO2 calcium oxide is also called what CaOH twice is called slaked lime CaO is called quick lime so many times I have repeated the same thing mention biological Magne uh, importance of magnesium and calcium you know mg plus 2 ions are responsible for photosynthesis ca2 plus ions are constitute of bones last three more questions guys again very important questions describe the manufacture of sodium carbonate by solvage process in this chapter this is vip question very important question guys solvage process how sodium carbonate is prepared four step reactions are there see here co2 gas is passed through a concentrated solution of nacl saturated with ammonia following reaction occurs c3 reactions ammonia treated with h2 and co2 gives ammonium carbonate nh4 nh3 twice co3 now sorry it is not NH3 NH4 twice CO3 ammonium carbonate again passed through the H2 and CO2 it will give ammonium hydrogen carbonate NH4 HCO3 now ammonium hydrogen carbonate is treated with NaCl gives ammonium chloride with elimination of sodium hydrogen carbonate but what we want sodium carbonate we want don't want H there last step what we are going to do see there sodium hydrogen carbonate on heating gives sodium carbonate so NaHCO3 when you heat it Na2CO3 plus CO2 plus H2 is eliminated our Na2CO3 is nothing but sodium carbonate so this is a solvage process guys remember four step reactions first ammonia is subjected for water and CO2 ammonium carbonate NH4 twice CO3 is formed that ammonium carbonate again subjected for CO2 and H2O ammonium hydrogen carbonate NH4 HCO3 is formed ammonium carbonate ammonium hydrogen carbonate in third step ammonium carbonate is subjected for NaCl now it will give ammonium chloride salt which is dissolved in water and left with sodium hydrogen carbonate but we want sodium carbonate so from that we have to eliminate H2 therefore we are uh, heating it last step is sodium hydrogen carbonate on heating gives uh, sodium carbonate Na to CO3 first step ammonium carbonate is formed second step ammonium hydrogen carbonate is formed third step sodium hydrogen carbonate is formed fourth step which is heating uh, will give sodium carbonate this is solvage process guys practice the reactions simple I hope you understood the reaction Give any three difference between beryllium and other alkaline uh, alkaline earth metals or you can say uh, the same question can be asked like this anomalous behavior of beryllium both are same beryllium forms covalent compounds while other element forms ionic compounds beryllium exhibit maximum covalency 4 while other elements exhibit maximum covalency 6 oxides and hydroxides of beryllium are amputric while oxides and hydroxides of other elements are basic Ampotric in the sense they can act as a both basic as well as acidic oxides of beryllium. Explain diagonal relationship between beryllium and aluminium or similarity between beryllium and aluminium. You can say both form covalent compounds. Beryllium 2 plus magnesium 2 plus ion have strong tendency to form complexes. Both the both the chlorides are Lewis acids. These are some similarities, guys. Give any three difference between lithium and other alkali metals. Lithium is hard while other alkali metals are soft. Lithium forms monoxide while other alkali metals forms peroxide and superoxide. Lithium forms nitride while other alkali metals do not. Lithium is diliquescent and form hydrate LiCl2H2 while other alkali metals do not form hydrates. Last question. Explain diagonal relationship between lithium and magnesium. Again, same question, guys. Both are hard. Both react with nitrogen to give nitride. Both react with oxygen to give oxides. Both lithium chloride and magnesium chloride are diliquescent and form hydrates. So, this is regarding the S-block elements, guys. I hope this video is helpful to you, guys. If it is helpful to you, please like the video, subscribe for the channel, and share among your friends so that everybody can get a benefit of it. And next, which chapter, important questions you want, you please comment below, guys. I will try to make it within two to three days. Now, remaining chapters are P-block, 
thermodynamics and hydrocarbons and environmental chemistry four chapters are remaining in the chemistry remaining all everything i have uploaded so which chapters you want you just comment below guys don't forget to like the video guys share among your friends thanks for watching thank you